Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Sestonians, and welcome to Dead Island Epidemic. I'm not quite sure how to describe this game. It's it's like a MOBA. It definitely looks a bit like Dota 2. It's uh, got different game mechanics to Dota 2, but it's definitely a top-down uh, rubber-style game where you have to defeat an enemy team in order and by upgrading your abilities and killing them and completing a map objective. But there's also a PVE element style as well. There's like a dungeon crawler-esque game mode that runs a bit like Diablo. So I guess the best thing to call it would be a mobile style slash dungeon crawler game set in the Dead Island uh, universe. Just before we get started on the video, I'd like to say a big thank you to the dude who actually gifted me this uh, beta invite a couple of months ago, but I couldn't make a video of it because it was under NDA. Now to describe the game very quickly, it is averagely fun, that's the best I can put it at the moment because the game isn't actually out yet, it's still in closed beta. So let's get showing you stuff, shall we? This is the HUD, this is the screen that comes up when you first start playing the game. Now I think the game is actually going to be free to play because you come up here and you can buy cash. You can also buy character points, you can buy coins. You can also unbuy an XP, features currently disabled but you can use that. So what we're seeing here, there's a few characters on the screen here. Uh, let's just click on say Mutated Berg here. I'll get into the different character varieties in a while later on but each uh, character has uh, certain roles. Mutated Berg here is a durable healer support type. Each character has four abilities, of course, bound to Q, W, E, and R. They only really have four. They also have attributes and expertises. So here's the thing, as you look you level up your character as you're playing the game, so it's not really balancing PvP and say a level one versus a level ten, unless there's matchmaking in the game. But as you progress your character, you get to unlock um, skills for your abilities. Say infectious war here, war to heal yourself and allies in the area, but you can also give it Actually, this is automatically given to your character. You further master your warring, you and your allies within the area gain increased attack speed. Excellent. So further down the line, if I wanted to augment regeneration at level 11, I could. This is my little experience bar up here. I've played with Mutated Berg a few times. So later on down the line, I'll be able to uh, give my teammates uh, an additional healing that lasts for a short period of time. Now, as long as it does match in the game and you're playing against players of a certain skill level than you, then, then it's perfectly fine. But if you're playing against one level 1 versus level 10, the level 10's obviously got some edge over the lower levels, hasn't he? It's a bit imbalanced. I don't like that. Also, each character has expertises, which relate to the kind of weapon they're holding. Say, uh, Mutated Berg here can use heavy weapons to generate rage quickly because he's wielding a heavy weapon. Uh, which increases his rage, which increases his rage regeneration by 20%. And also, you can give him a shotgun, which increases the second attacks damage dealt by secondary attacks is increased when wielding a shotgun. I do apologise about that. So essentially, he's a very tanky type character, so to say. He deals heavy damage based on slower weapons. And then, of course, you then also you can change his equipment. Say if you want to equip him with a the engulfer. Okay, that's not how I equip things, is it? I can only do that later on. But you can also check out his attributes, his powers, his his strength even, his vitality, his health, melee proficiency, multiplayer that fixes damage output with melee weapons, range proficiency, and all manner of stuff down here, say fury, focus, these are all different stats that give him like a tankiness, uh, increases rage folk regeneration, give him lifesteal, increases uh, cooldowns on his abilities, all that kind of stuff, and each character has something like this. Once it's a new character, don't really like her that much, don't I haven't actually played it, so I can't say, but, well, just I'm just going to judge from the appearance of it, I don't like it that much. So, what else do we have here? This is our home hub. We can check our inventory. You have an inventory in this game, you can check the parts. These are the parts I have. Now, you use parts in order to build weapons. But, unfortunately, in this beta, you have all the weapons already, so it's a bit null. It's a bit unnecessary at the moment, but I'm sure that when the game gets released, you have, like, very base weapons, and you'll have two null... Uh, play the game in order to grind some recipes and items in order to build better weapons. Again, it comes back to the whole not balance business because if someone has a higher level weapon than you, well, then they're going to have the advantage of you. Because if you see here, level 5, actually, they're all level 5 because you can kind of cause boost your weapons, but I think that these are all level 5. Fifth, oh, these are 50, I do apologize. Of course, you can level up your weapons though. I think that this one's being leveled up, I'm not 100% too sure. And as you level up the weapon, they cause a uh, deal additional perks like martial artists here. Dodging through enemies deals damage to them. Days, secondary attacks have a chance per chance rage bar to immobilize the target. So you level up your weapons, you deal more damage, and you have an advantage over your opponents. It's not really that fair, I'm sorry, it just isn't. Can I boost this even? I'm just gonna check this. Yeah, I can, I can level up my weapon. So if I've been playing the game for longer than someone else, I'm gonna have a clear advantage over them. And it doesn't come from experience, it doesn't come from knowing the game better than another person. It simply comes down to the 
how long much you've leveled up your, your character, I was going to say hero there, sorry, and how much you've leveled up your weapon. It's a bit unfair, I don't like it that much. Then we have the shop. This is an in-game shop using in-game currency, where you can of course purchase, say, new characters and uh, weapons. And unfortunately I have everything, nearly everything, except for some bandages here. These are items you can use in the game to patch the health up, but you also have certain perks of certain bandages, such as giving you increased cooldown regeneration, increased uh, stamina, increased lifesteal, all that kind of stuff. You also have some pills here, which uh, gives you heal over time. Now there's also other consuming mobiles that I don't quite use. There's hand grenades here, which you can use to cause AOE damage. Uh, fixed supply bomb for the PvP game mode, I'll go into that later. Other consumables as well, say an injector, increases your quick strike rate for a while. A supply hook. And then there's also services as well, I'm guessing that these are going to be boosters, such as experience boost, money boost, when the game comes out. Uh, you can also purchase blueprints, not available at the moment. New weapons, not available at the moment because they're all bought. Now back to characters again. So there's four base characters, well there's five now, including Wanta because she was released a couple of weeks ago. The original four were Berg, Isis, Amber and uh, Bryce. Now all four of these characters had special traits to them. We had like a big burly tanking dis support guy here, Berg. Uh, quick and speedy damage dealer, Isis. We had a uh, healer supporter, Amber, and then we had uh, Bryce who was like a ranged damage dealer. We can squishy. It was fairly balanced, and now we've got all these characters. Now, I'm not saying the game isn't balanced, but I'm just saying, well, I don't like the fact that they're using the same character for each of these versions. Like, we have a mutated Berg, we have normal Berg, we have armored Berg. I don't like that. I'm sorry, I just don't. They could have, like, created entirely new characters for these roles, but they decided that they didn't want to. Now, of course, some characters are going to be better suited for PvP than PvE. Say, we have mutated Amber here, who can stealth. We have Burst Damage, Muted Ice is here who completely wrecks me all the time in PvP. <laughs> and also we have characters who are more suited to PvE. We have uh, Armored Isis here, who is a turret creator and one of my favourites because you just plant down the turret, make sure it's alive, and Bob's your uncle, it's done. We also have the characters that are useful for everything, such as Amber, Armored Amber here, who can also summon a zombie that can tank for her, which is pretty damn cool. So here we have Survivor, Armored, and also we have Muted. They all come in different characters, character queries. Then we have the workbench, this is where you're supposed to make your weapons. Unfortunately, since they're all made, I don't have to worry about it too much. Actually, do I have the hazardous? Let's check this very quickly. Inventory. Let's look for a fist weapon called hazardous. Oh, uh, let's see, Baker. I'm not seeing it. So it looks like there are still weapons that you can make. Yeah, there's still weapons you can make. Also, don't forget, weapons have the different attributes that they can add to your character. Say, this one has increased attack speed, focus, and critical strike. This one has increased fury, stamina, and attack speed, so of course you can uh, categorize your items to your needs and, order and your playstyle. Okay, I think I've shown you virtually everything. This is the character screen. You can check the characters that you own and have. You can't really swap between them that much. This is it. These are your characters. These are the favorites, and by favorites, these are the default ones for the time being. You first start up the game with these. And that'll probably change later on. I'll assume that they're going to rotate the characters in the League of Legends style later on down the line. So enough about that, let's play the game. So we, now, there's, now there's two game modes, there's Horde mode and Scavenger mode. Horde mode is the PvE mode, Scavenger is the PvP one. And I'm just going to get, show you the PvE mode very quickly here. Horde mode. Now there's three types of games, there's like Scout, Easy, Medium, Hard, Horde mode, Heroic Horde mode. It's, it's just Easy, Medium and Hard. Heroic Horde mode, however, is very hard and only completed it once. Not good. So we're going to show you Horde mode, it's, it's nice and easy. It's default, it's there. So this is our next screen as well. I'm going to click on Armored Isis here, she's my character I'm going to be playing as. She's only level 5, so I don't have access to all of my uh, traits and my guns. For instance, if I level up my sentry, if I level up even more to the level 10 or 11, my sentry gun actually gets a rocket launch attached to it, which is pretty nifty. Pretty cool. Also, uh, you can change your uh, items here. Say if I wanted to give myself some fixed supply bombs here. Not necessary, but I could. I can. Let's see, what do I want? Focus bandage. Now let's just equip myself with a focus bandage. I'll show what bandages do later on. You can also equip the weapon you have. Now equipping a light weapon with this character doesn't do anything at the moment because I don't have the attribute unlocked yet. But I like... Which one I had? Damn it, I've lost the one I had now, didn't I? Because I liked it a lot. Knife wrench. Which one was it that I had? I think it was defense, life, speed, attacks, focus, stamina. I think it was... No, oh, it wasn't acid in a bottle. Shocking katana, focus, life, leech. No, no, no. I think it was, okay, you know what, it's Poison Bottle, let's go with that one, okay, equip. Then of course all we can uh, equip a ranged weapon, which one was it, Fury, Critical Strike, Stamina, I wanted one that dealt the most damage, I think that's what I was after there, so I'll just equip that. You can call, kind of, of course, change character if you want, but I'm not going to, Armor Dice as it is, let's ready up and play a game.
So here we are, we're currently in the game at the moment now. So this is a map is called the Purple Moon Club and the idea behind it is that you have to take some control points and at the end you fight a boss monster. And I'm not going to lie, that's it. So what's the fundamental problem here? What's the first thing that we've seen that's wrong? There's three engineer style characters with sentry guns. Three of them. That's right, there's not like character selection here or anything like that. You start the game with the class you want and then you're chopped into whatever it is. I mean, it would be nice if they found you a match that there wasn't actually anybody with the same characters as you, just for a bit of utility. But unfortunately, there isn't. I'm guessing the engineer is probably like, uh, popular because it's an engineer. And you have like a little sentry who does the job for you, which is kind of cool. But honestly, it's a bit silly. I'm sorry, it is. So, armor dice is I'm playing as. We have four abilities. We have uh, the sentry gun here, which of course does the job for us. We have some cluster grenades that you can throw that explode and deal damage. You have some shock mines, so of course when enemies stop on those they explode. And also we have an ultimate rocket launcher, which is literally a rocket launcher that fires rockets. It's pretty cool. The only one to actually bother in this game was a ducky who decided to play a different class altogether. So kudos to ducky. So, we made it to a first control point, I've leveled up again. You level up by killing monster killing monsters, sorry, killing zombies. And uh taking these uh well actually they call them supply points in this game. Once Ducky here finally starts trying to take the uh, supply point, somebody's going to attack us in a wave and we have to defeat a certain amount of them. No time or anything like that, we just have to kill 48 zombies. You know what? I don't mind it too much. But the problem with this is that there's, there's, there's very little variety to it. This is what every map is like. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting a bit into the game here. You just uh, shoot zombies, a certain amount of zombies. Maybe they'll be like a tougher zombie. I just saw there, they, they, they all have yellow health, such as a grabber one. There's different varieties, they're special zombies. Or walkers, as this game likes to call them. And this guy here, he licks you. You have to work your way around the different kinds of zombies. It's okay, there's a little variety in that department. But aside from that, there isn't really much else. I want to level up my turret again. Don't need to do anything else, because this is literally easy mode. <laughs> <coughs> as armor dices, I can, of course, upgrade my turret. I can heal it as it's going on. And I have a grenade to throw things. And also, if you look at the mini-map up the top right-hand corner of the screen, there's a checkpoint up there. If we lose this, if your wolfers die, we still restart that checkpoint and we try again. And below that, of course, we have victory conditions. There's like stars, there's a gold, silver and bronze. The idea behind that is that there's a time limit on the maps. And the quicker you do the map, the quicker the better the reward, the better the reward you get. Oh, there's another special kind. I'm also assuming that the higher the difficulty, the better the reward you get. Like I said, I haven't actually completed that heroic horde mode, so I'm not too sure what items you get from that. I'm going to guess you obviously get more from it. And uh, as for the PvP, this is actually it. You take some supply points and at the very end of the map there's like a uber boss mob that you have to kill. At the end of this one there's like a super shika here who, well, is a bit difficult, has patterns that you have to learn. Think of it like a boss in World of Warcraft. You have to learn the pattern, you have to avoid the AoE, don't step into fire, hide behind objects at certain amounts of time. And that's fun! Definitely, that is interesting and exciting. This, however, it's not. They could have added so much more to this instead of capture two control points and kill a boss mob. They could have said, like, added uh, themed objectives. Don't forget that this is Dead Island. They could have added some Dead Island-esque themes, such as, like, find the survivors in a certain place, defend the survivors for a certain amount of time, getting more points for each survivor save. That's a pretty damn good thing. How about something along the lines of, uh, you have to find a car battery. And it bring the car battery down to a certain objective or waypoint. Right, that would be there. good. One for the count. Creates a new playstyle to the game mode. Say the character holding the battery can't attack, so you have to defend them. While going throughout the game mode in order to do stuff. Okay, enough about that. I've talked a bit about the game mode. Let's talk about how the game style very quickly. I can change my weapon by pushing C. See, I've got my rifle out at the moment. If I push C, I change that to my melee weapon. And also if I right click, I can do like a big attack. You see that little bar underneath my health there, the orange bar? Essentially, if I build it up by attacking things, and the more I attack, the more damage I deal from a step special attack, which I want, which I right click with. There we go, that's that done. It's going to set up a sentry to it on the, I guess, this corner of the circle, <laughs> to cover all sides. I can also roll to avoid. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, Doug. He, he shielded me using his ability. I can roll with my character using the space bar in order to get out tricky situations. You roll three characters as well. Let's just find a zombie to roll through. Okay, so rolling actually has a cooldown on it. So. Uh, this zombie. There we go. Roll through him. That's, a, that's my get out of danger card. 
Gonna upgrade my sentry once again, so it's awesome. Oh, and I got caught by the special infected, and it got broken out. That's fine. People learning about the zombies. And dispatching them, dispatching them appropriately. That's fine. But honestly, they need to do more of the game mode. It needs to be more interesting, more exciting. Don't just take out the... Just not defend the supply point against waves of zombies. It's boring. It really is. Maybe have, like, really long games that involve other things, like... Maybe have a long map where you have to, like, reach a certain place. Do that. Do it, say... What's the game I'm thinking? Uh, do it Left 4 Dead style. That would be fantastic. Oh, my sentry's already full. That's fine. So I haven't used my ulti yet. As you can see, you level up abilities as to go along. Now, if I wanted to heal myself, I could just use one and, well, I heal myself. That's it. It's not complex. You're not by items or anything like that. You just level up your gear. All the item leveling up and stuff like that happens at the end of the match. In the lobby. And, well... This is it. I'm only playing this because I want to show you the boss mob at the end of the game. Now, of course, the different levels have different themed boss mobs at the end. This one has like an uber shrieker. Another one, which is a sort of test lab, has an uber tanky, bulky thingy, and that one is rock solid. Believe me, I, I die all the time on that one. Honestly, it's a little more difficult than what I like it to be. I'm not going to bother with my mines because honestly, I don't need them in this game. Let's, let's just chuck one anyway. They're cluster mines. That's what they do. It's cool. If I level it up, it gets like a slowdown on the enemies it comes into contact with. It's alright. And then there's the, the, the third map where you just fight like a long sticky tongue thing. I'm going to call it sticky tongue thing because honestly I don't know what they're called. I need to find one. Where's it gone? Here, here on the floor. <laughs> As if we don't know what the supply point looks like on the fucking mini map. So I'll talk about victory conditions again. You get bonuses for that. Then you hit the bronze star, you don't get anything. You only get like one thing. If you get the gold star, you get better loot. I'll show you that after the game happens. Objectives, secure the second control point, supply point. It needs to be more interesting than this. I'm sorry, it does. Screamer. Well, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? And for all it is, it, it isn't bad. It's not It's not the worst game. Here we go. Pullers, they're called. But, you know, it could be better. I'm going to bother Rocket Launch on this one because I'm just going to say that for the boss because, of course, my ulti has a bit on cooldown. And also the rifle can attack things that are off screens. This is always good. And we're going to do this in no time because three of us picked, <laughs> picked the sentry girl. And that needs to change as well. It needs to be able to like have some kind of matchmaking just so that we can have a bit more variety in the different types of uh, plays you have. Because if I'm picking this character, I've never seen... I've never been in a match where I've had like... Oh, get in the getting in then. I've never been in a match where I've had only myself in it as the main engineer girl. Engineer writers even. So we're at the final boss now, the massive screamer. She has different mechanics, she screams a lot, and stuff happens. She summons all these mobs on the side here. Oh, no, 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 touch my sentry, I like my sentry. And, uh, well, she just has lots of area attacks. There's also, like, some mutated zombie that comes along to have a nice little chat with her. And if that happens, uh, a huge area spin. Here we go, I've got to kill this guy. What reaches her. And then this happens. So which means that we have to get behind this objective here. These physical barricades even. Or else we get stunned for a couple of seconds. And you know what? It's kind of fun. Look at this. It's, it is very wow-esque. Things, things appear on the floor. You have to dodge them and watch out for them. Oh, kill this one here. Because of my massive damage, I can just uh, take it out, no problem. Let's rocket launcher it. Let's save the day. And there we go. Quite easy. Good job. Look at that, I did it in 8 minutes, 30 seconds, we're going to get some good news. I killed the most, actually no, I killed the second most, that sucks, doesn't And here's the pre-game lobby. As you see, we've got a gold medal there, we've got some coins here, got some other stuff here. There's repair costs as well, I guess the more you get hit, you have to pay repair costs, which results in only 2,000 music thingy. Although I didn't really get hit that much, I'm not too sure why I even pay the repair costs, quite honestly. I think it's just there to give you some incentive to carry on playing. Gold medal. All we got was some crappy bandages and some resin glue, which we don't even need for anything. As well as some other stuff. Oh, we got a hooked cogwheel. Oh, a heavy weapon. Okay, let's check that out very quickly. So we got a new item, which can build on the workbench. Which one is it? A heavy co hooked cogwheel. I can't purchase it because it's 23,000 cash. Okay, now let's show you some PvP. Why the hell not? I'm going to go to the lobby. Yes, I'm going to that. Scavenger! This is the PvP mode. 
I'll tell you how it works when I get into the game. I'm going to select my character because I like to play as the healer, Amber. Because of course I like to heal people and help them because I'm a good person. Pain the weak, uh, primary attacks deal increased damage to weakened targets, that's one for abilities. Smoking guns, excellent. So we're going to give her a light weapon. I want to give her some of that increases the cooldown on her abilities. So let's say I'm looking for some focus. So let's see, I have control focus here. I'm looking for 35 focus, that's pretty damn good. Let's equip that one. And it's the same for this. So I want to find some pistols that increase my focus, which allows me to deal my, use my abilities a lot more. So we've got 19 and uh, 20 focus. Why the heck not? 20 focus. Let's use the hairdryer <laughs> that shoots guns. Okay, let's get ready for this one, shall we? So here's the PvP elements of the game. So we're in a map called the Jungle, and if you look at the minimap, it looks a little different. Well, for starters, there's three teams. It works in the same way. Oh, look at this. We've got to see. Armoured. Uh, this is going to be okay. So it works like a MOBA, a three-way MOBA, except we don't have to destroy enemy bases. What you have to do is capture uh, control supply points. Supply points increase your little score here, as you can see underneath the minimap. More supply points you have, the quicker you'll win. Now, when you capture a supply point, of course, it actually drops supply crates, which you have to bring to these little car-like symbols on the map and drop them off. This increases your supply points. You can get them from killing enemies as well. And as you probably noticed, I look a little like Lara Croft. I just noticed that when I started playing the game. So, of course, you have to kill zombies as well. Kill zombies increases your experience, which allows you to, of course, uh, get new abilities and deal more damage. Now, we've got an okay team over here, I think. We've got two healers. We've got, like, a ganker. Two gankers as well. And, uh, well, this is the start of the game, you have to run towards the middle of the map. Look at that. Let's just heal myself up. There we go. Excellent. Fantastic. Now, oddly enough, we hit a certain part of the point of the map here. We hit a barricade in PvP, mate, in the PvP game. We have to destroy the barricade in a PvP game. We're not PvPing at the moment, we're just PvE. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, uh, Flaming Wings, I think. Actually, you see where she goes as well. There we go, we yeah, fantastic. So we're going to level up again. So it's not just that. We don't just have to contact to control points. In the middle of the map, there's a, 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 a big boss mob spawns. And the person who kills it, and the team that kills it, gets a, a supply to in order to bring it back to the base. Naturally, oh, they've reached the supply area. Beating beat us to it, so they're going to have a bit of an advantage. So our team is tossing around a little, killing zombies and leveling up. How dare they? And green team's just gotten through, so we're going to be lagging behind her quite a bit. Okay, so let's see where we go, let's see where we go. I'm going to follow Flaming Wings. Oh, there's a special mob over there, let's just ignore it for the time being. Okay, so we're all heading into the middle in order to try and take out this, uh... Daka, 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 boom. In order to take out this uh, uber mob. We don't have to do this, but it seems like we want to. There he is. So everyone else is taking control points. Us, however, we're going for this big bad boy. Gonna do some skills here. Just gonna try and stay alive. I use my abilities accordingly in order to. Oh, leveled up again. Gonna increase my healing. And of course, we're going to be taking out all these guys in order to get some good supply. Well, we actually have a very coordinated team here. That's good. Great job there. Oh. For the count. Try and kill her. Oh, oh, oh! No, you don't. Make sure to scare him away. Gonna heal up our healer. There we go. Now, I think I've got like three supplies, so I'm just going to bring it off. No, oh, 36 supplies, sorry. Now, you see that little circle next to my health bar? That's. Oh, give me a healer. Thank you very much. That little circle beneath my. next to my name tells me how much supply I have. So we go to here, and we drop off the supply. The bigger the circle, the slower we move. And it also indicates that you're a big ass target for people to. well, to be in order for people to gank. So uh, I want to head down to here, but I'm very lonely, so I'm a bit scared as well. Okay, I'll boost. I saw that have a lot of the healing schools following me. This is good, so we've got a nice little synergy going on here. Yeah, fuck off, you bitch. Go on, Bryce, do something, do something, go on. Look, bitch, I can heal myself. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so he's just gonna make he's just gonna make sure I start to do damage to myself. So I'm just gonna capture the control point while I'm doing this. And well, there's two maps that I played so far. Oh, is it three? I don't remember. And well, they're a bit the same, -y. they're exactly the same. They play all the same. Oh, I'm just going to make sure I don't die here. I'm going to go for a little utility here and get some smoke screen. This actually is a not bad one. Uh, protects my uh, units and protects my friendly guys in the area. We also all hang around this control point and it gets taken very qu quicker. Excellent. 
So we're doing okay for ourselves. We're winning. Well, hey, check out that out. Coming out of our own supply. That's a good who summons a zombie there. And it's, it's going okay. But here's the thing again. It's the same game mode over and over. No difference at all. It's all the same thing. And that saddens me a little. I wish they could. I wish they did a bit more with it. I wish they could like. I said this about Magic as well. Team Fortress Two style objectives in a PvP game is fantastic. And having it top down and like this, it, it couldn't be bad, could it? Okay, so let's not all hang together. I'm gonna stick with flaming wings over here. He's gigantic and out of control. Quite a prize to be one if you ask me. So I'm gonna stand back and uh, help her out. Heal her when she needs to be healed. Attack who she attacks, and it looks like we're gonna head into the middle again. But it'd be nice if there was like a like, capture the flag game mode. It'd be nice if there's different things you could do. I would love that a lot. Say you have like a attack defense star control points. Have to get a car battery in order to uh, start the car. Oop. So we're back down here again. Excellent. Okay. So I'm just gonna hang on the sides here. Make sure things get shot. And uh, not worry about anything. And kill this big fucker while we're at it. Next time I'm gonna level up my heal again because heal. Actually no, I should have got my ulti there. Should have sorry. Oh, bitch, stepping upon a girl, huh? Great job there. One for the count. Get the bitch! One. See that? She's moving slower, so of course. And she stunned me. Well, she ain't getting away, though, is she? Not very clever girl, is she? So there we go. Let's take all of those, head back to base, guys. And drop these bad boys off. So we're, lo we're losing so far. We've only got one supply point for some reason. We've been focusing on the big objective in the middle of the map. Also, normal zombies drop her uh, supply crates, so it's always a good idea to just uh, farm those a little. I've got 11. I don't want to lose. Oh, crap. The control boat's over here. But like I was saying, I have some more objectives. I have some more themes in the game. It's Dead Island, for goodness sake. There's so much you can do. What about escorting this little car thing over to uh, one side of the map in order to, well, maybe it's got a bomb in it. Payload. There you go. Boy, Payload top down. Point. Yeah, you guys can take that. It's not like we're gonna die. Actually, there's a good chance I can die. So we want oh, guys, what are you doing? How can we not going down for goodness sake? Oh, oh. No, you don't. Not really grouped up together I'm well enough, are we? So at the end of the game, one team wins. That means but since there's three teams, of course there's got to be like a first, second, and third, hasn't there? So the game carries on good playing unless somebody comes in second. So you need the first, second, and third. So we're gonna say flame combat. Oh, so there's crit commands. Push Z and you can do this. Because of course they're taking our bottom one, so it would be nice if someone came down there and helped us defend it. I mean come on, look, we've got two healers. What are you doing guys? They're taking it. Fine, I'll come down here then. I'll get ganked, see if I care. I care really. And I got caught by that single fucking mob. I'm, I'm great, aren't I? <laughs> I'm sinful a certain amount of time. Ah, oh, dear me. So our team isn't doing as well as I hoped it would. They're not really coordinated. And I'm going to come down here and I'm of course going to get killed. Also, this little area here has a little turret that, uh, so if, if uh, any enemies walk into it, they get shot. Also, if zombies walk into it, they get shot. That's fine. So I'm just going to try and do a little harassment on the side, see unless somebody comes over, because they've got four control points. Can't possibly cover the wall, can they? Here we go. So I'm just going to take this by myself. The horde is tearing around. Sure. Oh shh! Through the. There we go. Ah, oh, she's a stealth, isn't she? Ah, oh, little girl running away. Boo hoo. Oh. So yeah, I have to deal with this uh, special zombie over here. As, oh, I don't think we're going to keep doing this. Yep, she's going to keep doing this. It's going to be fucking annoying. Ah, oh, there's two of them now. I can't do this by myself, guys. I need some backup. I'm going to do a little shooting here. Because I can't do anything else. Because I'm all alone. No one here beside me. Because the teammates took out the middle one, that's fine. I'm trying to hit this bottom one. But of course, no help. Diddums. I hear you say. And I hope we'll be able to take it again. So this one's contested. 
Oh, not again. I need teammates. Or I need to defend my teammates. That'd probably be a lot better, wouldn't it? Beach scream scream. Okay, go do my. I'm having a good day, am I? <laughs> Getting constantly CC'd by this fucking mob. Of course, that's like an aimed ability that I can actually avoid. By going like that. And I killed it! Yay! Oh. Guys, I'd like a bit of help down here. Okay, that's fine. I can keep these two guys alive while the four. Why are we all grouping together? I don't get this. We should be like cutting all off our bases. Should we be hanging about like this? Maybe shouldn't be. Okay, level up. Gonna do my nerve cut again. Okay, we're talking again. Okay, you guys go take another control point. I'm gonna drop these off. Okay, we're actually winning because we've been focusing on the middle objective more than the control point. So that that's a good thing. And this is essentially the game mode. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest either. It, needs, it, it leaves a lot to be desired, of course. And I wish there was just more to it, because I think this game actually has the potential to do something. It's like Magic does. Keep it up. There we go, keep it up. We're happy there. It takes a while as well. Not that that's a bad thing or anything. But it is a bit long. For what it seems to be. What it, for what it seems to be. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Bitch. Hey, hey, I killed her. I'm awesome. I should be swearing at random people on the internet. It makes me look like a jerk. I do apologize. But yeah, we're doing good. We're taking the first supply point. We're all moving as a group. It actually seems to be a good strategy because the greens and the blues are fighting up there and they're not doing too well for themselves. Oh, there's another one, so we'll be heading up there once we've taken this control point. So we're actually doing really good for ourselves. No, you're not getting me this time, bitch. Go, Lara Croft is saving the day. Drops in there. Let's pick it up. And we captured it. So now we all get to head up north and take this uh, boss mob in order to get more supply. And it would be nice if this was like a standard mode that people could join, but I would really like more to this game. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. I can't. I definitely can't complain too much about it, especially considering that it's going to be free to play. Okay, I guess I'm just shooting for one again as well. It's going to bomb bomb down there. Heal you up. This. Oh, bitch! She's trying to take our supplies, isn't she? Okay, I'm gonna take all of this. Nom 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 nom. Ah, oh, delicious. Okay, so I'm overcumbered and I'm overweight, and I'm actually a very too big target for people. That's okay. Look, I can just heal myself up, and I can just do this, and they start killing each other. Ah, uh -huh, you're screwed. And I'm nearly there. Come on, you really gonna do this? Ah, that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> and we're safe. Let's deliver these boys off. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Of course, uh, there's a, if you die, of course, you spawn back at our base, which is somewhere over here on the right side. So we're actually doing rather good for ourselves. We're just going to bandage up here, use my item. And of course, my little friend down here is helping out as well. So yeah, it looks like we're going to win, and well deservedly as well. Okay, so it seems like they've chased us all the way down here. Can I you can also revive the enemies, I forgot to mention this. Right, we have teammates, sorry. Push the X on their body, and then you sort of like do some weird voodoo magic, and then you revive them like this. Let's heal her up. And we're in the game again. Perfect. So they died in a pretty good spot. I could recover their bodies again and make sure they revive in order to uh, get back into the fight. I don't know, is that a really good thing? It seems a bit a little imbalanced, especially in a PvP game. Focus. Yeah, but we're nearly there, so it doesn't matter. I think our team composition is also a bit better than theirs. Oh. You know what? We're just going to take another control point up here. It seems. It's going to get stuck in there. What are we fighting around? Guys, why are we even fighting down here? Come on. Okay, so we're going to take another boss mob in the middle here, get some more supply, and hopefully win this game. Oh, what was that down there? Oh, someone's up there as well, so I'm just going to hang back to. We're going to well, hang back closer to our base around this girl here. And just drop off this bomb here. Use that, weaken it. Does more damage. Takes more damage. Let's shoot it. Oh, they're getting peed off at us, aren't they? I can use healing. You do, Bryce. Great job there. One for the cow. Okay, all these things. 
And uh, everyone gets to attack each other. We're here. I'm going to make sure that she dies. Oh, no, she got away. Bollocks. Okay, I think that the best thing we can do is actually just uh, head back to base. Although I'm just going to farm a few zombies on me. Oh, oh, oh. Bottom. Come on, guys. Look, they're taking our bottom while we're being dif freaking distracted. Ah, it'd be nice to do a better command, say, like I could uh, say, go bottom. Or eight. Okay, so just gonna handle this class control supply. Okay, normal supply. Those bloody scavengers are on us again. Okay, for some reason we're just fighting them up there. Don't know why we're bothering, not bothering to come down here or anything. And hopefully this will be. Oh, oh, oh! Hello, bitch. Remember me? And she missed me. That's okay. I can do this. And of course she stealths. Oh, some healed. Damn, she got some burst, hasn't she? And I'm supposed to be dead, aren't I? Bollocks. <sighs> Maybe if my teammates stuck together and helped me out. Oh, well, I can't really too much. I dived into the fight myself, and I couldn't really do anything else about it. Uh, guys, look. Okay, they're going to take that again. That's fine. I nearly got her. I guess she's got more damage potential than me. I'm pretty much just a support character, but she's got a zombie she can summon. Oh, is that the stealth? Yeah, it's a stealth one. Yeah, she's built to deal damage. I'm built to support people. I can't help that. So PvP balance is, well, it's good. I'm a good strong healer class. She's a good strong DPS class. Only problem is, I don't think that the turret lady is, girl is really good, much use at all in PvP. Relies heavily on the turret. The turret gets destroyed rather easily if left alone. And there's not much you can do about that. I think it needs a little tweaking and a little tuning in that department, but aside from that, I think everything is uh, okay with the game. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that she doesn't get this. Yeah, bitch, it's my control point. Wanna defend it? Didn't think so. <laughs> and look at all these little points I get. Oh, she gobbled me. So that's a few supply points. I think I'm gonna be able to drop these off and hopefully we'll be able to win. Very shortly. And I can stop soaring you this blooming video and we can get on with our lives. And then I can give it a good roundup. Looks like I need it in the middle as well, so I'll head over there. We're now. close, we're close. Problem with the uh, her problem with, of course, the blue who was attacking me there was actually overextended by herself. Now of course since she always closer to my control point than she was closer to her control point, I could go back and heal quicker. Oh hello bitch! Yeah, probably not the best time to use that. Okay. You are... Yeah, let's go back here. <laughs> fuck, 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 okay. We put, we've virtually won at this point though. Look at this advantage we have against everyone else. Okay, I think the only thing I could do is keep my smoke screen. This be mad. So everyone's dying into the build now. They really want to get this thing killed. And it's giving this a big complex. And you know what? This is actually kind of okay. Oh my god, all these supply points! What is supply? And I didn't get a single bloody one of them! I'm not gonna lose this one! After him! Get himself up. And of course, everyone got away. But look at this, we're gonna win anyway! Okay, so they've got like a strong, solid heal on their team. That's embarrassing, isn't it? And I got a single quiddish supply point for it. Way hey! But we did good, we won this virtually. Just need like a few more supply. And we won, we're here. Now they're going to carry on fighting because they still need to fight for position 2. So we're just going to exit to our crib now and then round up this video. And we've got a nice little achievement for that. Open up these, we get Bogle from them again. And we're going to round up the video. What can I say about the game? It's averagely fun. Like I said at the beginning of the game, it's got its. It just needs more variety to it. That's all it needs. It needs like more. It needs to stick to the Dead Island theme. It needs some more game mods, it needs more variety in the stuff it does. It needs a bit more tweaking as well with the character branching out, but since it's going to be free to play as well, you know, you can't complain too much about that, can you? Microtransactions aren't a bad thing, and if done properly, this could actually do rather well. It's not going to be competitive on a level of Delta 2 or anything like that, it's not going to be as hardcore as Diablo, but it's going to be a nice little fun thing that you can dip into every now and again, have some fun with your friends, and just enjoy yourself. It's averagely fun. And of course, that's all the time we have. I've been Systematic, and a big thank you all for watching.